One of the great features behind Definity FI is that all of the payments are actually ran through the blockchain. What that means is that every single transaction is 100% transparent, it's verifiable, and you can publicly view all of the payments, making it a trustless system. The problem is that most people have no idea how to actually purchase cryptocurrency to actually make purchases to get started with Definity FI. It doesn't take any debit cards, credit cards, or any bank wires whatsoever. It only takes one type of cryptocurrency, which is BNB Smart Chain, also known as BNB BEP20. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly get started by purchasing BNB Smart Chain as a form of payment to get started with Definity FI. I'm also gonna quickly show you how to set up your SafePal wallet, which is where you're gonna store your BNB Smart Chain and make your purchase within Definity FI. Also be aware that the only way that you can access the Definity FI website is through one of these unique wallets such as SafePal, Trust Wallet, MetaMask Wallet, or Token Pocket. This is what's called DAP Browsers. So let's go and get started. Doesn't matter if you have an Android or an iOS Apple, you wanna go and go to your Play Store or your App Store and you wanna search SafePal Wallet, just like what you see in front of you. It'll be a black logo with white fonts. Go ahead and actually click on the download button or install it. Once you're done, you wanna go ahead and actually open it up. Once you open it up, the first thing you're gonna see is software wallet or hardware wallet you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on software wallet. And then right when you're done with that, it's gonna say, welcome to SafePal, and you wanna click on the next button. Once you're done doing that, it's going to prompt you to create a password. Now, I just wanna urge you to make sure you write down a password that is unique for you and for you only, that no one else can guess it, make it difficult, make it hard. And also you wanna make sure you write it down because you do not want to lose this. And then on the bottom, you wanna make sure that you check off that you've read and accepted the terms of use. If you wanna read it, go right ahead and then click on submit. As soon as you're done, it's gonna prompt you to create a pattern. This is another level of security. You wanna make sure this is a pattern that is comfortable for you that you will remember. And once you're done, it's gonna say congratulations, you're ready to get started with your SafePal journey. And below, you wanna go and click on start SafePal journey. At this point, it's gonna ask you to either create a wallet or import it. You wanna click on create wallet. And earlier, you did create a password, so you wanna go ahead and actually type out that security password to confirm that this is what you're gonna be doing. Click confirm once you're done. The next point is you're going to go ahead and name your wallet. Now, you can name it anything you want. Think of it like it's a checking account that you're going to create, and it's just gonna allow you to identify this wallet. So you can call it whatever you like once you're done press done below. Once you're done, you're gonna see it say, a new wallet is created. So congratulations on that. You're gonna have two options. You're gonna click on either back up my phrase or start to use. What I encourage you to do is go ahead and click on the blue, back up my phrase. Once that's done, there's three things that they're gonna ask you to confirm. Make sure that you do not lose your mnemonic phrase. This is the only way that you're able to restore it if you do lose it. Make sure you back it up by writing it down in a secure area. Make sure that no one's around you. And number three, once the app is deleted, the wallet data will be deleted as well. So make sure that you, all it's telling you to do is make sure that you write it down, don't tell anybody about it, and the only way that you're able to restore, if you lose your password and you wanna access your digital assets again, is you need your mnemonic phrase. So you agree to those three things, check those off, and then click understood. Now once you're done, you're gonna have these unique phrases, these words that are only for you and you only. You wanna write those down, confirm it, press next. It'll probably quiz you and wanna make sure you go through the entire phase to make sure that you did back it up correctly by writing it down. But once you're done, it'll immediately prompt you to this section right here, which is your general assets page. When you get to this page, you're going to see different digital assets. The one that we wanna focus on, which is the form of payment that Definity FI takes is BNB BEP20, which is the one I circled right there. Go ahead and click on that with your finger. I'm assuming that you don't have any BNB BEP20 and the fastest way that you can purchase it is through a debit or credit card. So you wanna go and click on buy coin 
depending on how many packages that you're looking to purchase, most people on average are purchasing between $200 to $1,100. That is packaged either three or up to package six. And what I encourage you to do is whatever that package is, let's say, for example, you're looking to purchase package six. That's a total of everything of $1,100. You want to make sure you add an extra 5% for any type of blockchain or any type of fees that could get in the way. So I would actually put a 5% on top of that. So that's 1,150. Once you actually have done doing that, press buy now. And then at the top, it's gonna confirm your order. You wanna make sure that this is correct, that you're looking to purchase $1,150 worth of USD. Remember, this is just an example. You could be purchasing more or less but I'm just using 1,100 with a 5% fee as an example. Once you actually see that that's correct, you're not gonna make a purchase yet. You're just gonna confirm that. And then where the arrow is, you wanna check that off right there that you have read everything and you're gonna accept and go to payment. Now it's gonna go ahead and move you right to either your browser and it's going to take you to a third party company called Simplex so that you can actually make a credit or debit card purchase of BNB Smart Chain or known as BEP20. So you wanna put your card number, your month, year that expires for your credit card or debit card and put your first and last name as well as your security code and make sure those three are checked off below right there. Now before you press next, I wanna also let you be aware that most of the time, uh, these debit or credit card payments go through. Now, if it doesn't go through, the number one reason uh, is that it does not take business cards. So it only takes personal cards, just like it says on the top, pay using your personal credit or debit card. So if you have a business card or a company card, uh, refrain from using that because it will not accept that. You want to use your personal credit or debit card. Once you actually went ahead and done so uh, with everything I just circled for you, press next on below. And here you want to go and put in your billing information. Make sure it's the actual billing address that is registered to your debit or credit card. And then below, put in your personal details, uh, your email, phone number, and your date of birth and pay now. Now, another reason why sometimes that uh, credit card transactions do not go through uh, is because there is a, this is an international company wherever you live and your credit or debit card may have a protection on it and you probably have to flip your debit or credit card in the back and call the phone number and let them know that you are making a purchase uh, through an international company and make sure that they allow that. There's also some sort of what they call 3D, 3D authentication on your card. Uh, make sure that they actually are aware of this as well. If there's anything that's holding back and you've actually end up calling them and let them know, chances are that it will go through. Now, depending on your debit or credit card company, it may require you to do what's called a KYC. It's a very simple known as know your customer. It may prompt you to actually verify your information again, even take a selfie of yourself with a picture of your driver's license to confirm that it's not a fraudulent purchase and that you are the one that is making the decision to make this purchase. So these are all standard protocols when it comes to purchasing cryptocurrency. Once everything goes through, you may see your BNB BEP20. Uh, once it clears, it'll appear within an hour to maybe even a day. Where it says BNB BEP20, you're gonna see your total amount that you purchased right there. And if you don't know how to get there, you can always click on the blue section that I have the arrow at and they'll take you right there. Once you actually have your BNB ready, you are ready to get started with Definity FI. So now what you wanna do is you wanna click on those four squares and it's gonna take you to the DAP browser that we mentioned earlier. And at the top, it's gonna say search DAP or enter a link. You wanna make sure that you grab the referral link from the person who is referring you to Definity FI and you wanna go ahead and paste it right there. Now, once you're done, you're gonna see this unique little logo that pops up. Now, this is called the Ethereum logo. The entire project of Definity FI isn't built on the Ethereum network, it's built on the Binance Smart Chain. Click on that button, and you need to switch it to BSC, which is Binance Smart Chain. 
Once you're done doing so, you are ready to get started and you can press go. Now, I also want to urge you that you wanna make sure that you have copied and pasted the exact referral link that your referrer sent you. You do not wanna type it out because any errors, we cannot reverse the purchase or payment. Once you're done, press go. It's going to actually tell you that you are going to another website if you're okay with that, press confirm, so go ahead and do so. And now you have entered into the Definity FI website. Right here, if you are looking to get started as a customer or a, uh, a student that is looking to actually just get involved with the community and just access the academy and different digital products and services, you wanna click on this. If you're somebody that is looking to get started as an affiliate or a member and you wanna be able to join the expansion team and go out there and refer other people to the community and earn rewards for doing so, you can go ahead and actually not click that and scroll down. When you get to the bottom, you're gonna see a section that says our affiliate program. You wanna go and click on that button. Once you click on it, you're gonna see the button that says join as a member and you wanna click on that. The moment you've done so, you can actually see here in front of you that it says course and membership, and as well as you have the ability to earn referral commissions. You see that red line right there is that if you do not see your referrer's wallet address or their name, you wanna make sure you click there and add the referral ID there, or you wanna go back, grab the correct referral link and paste it and do it over again. Once you actually see the correct ID number or wallet address, you wanna click purchase now. Once you're done doing so, you wanna confirm that purchase by clicking purchase. And once you're done doing so, it's gonna take you to the next page. It may take you about 30 seconds to a minute to actually process that $30 package. But once you're done, it'll give you the opportunity uh, to actually purchase the rest of the packages that you're looking to purchase. And those are called bundle packages. Now, the reason why it's actually uh, asking you to do so by just making your first purchase for $30 is because it needs to create your account on the blockchain. Once you create that account, then you can purchase all the way up to the 12th package if you want to in one transactions in the next page. So now you're in, you have the opportunity to actually log into your, your, your dashboard by clicking uh, login. And once you're in, you're gonna see a section in the menus tab that says account information. You wanna go and click on that. And in order for us to make sure that you have a quick start to go out there and share this with other people, in the account information, you're going to see your own personal referral link. And you wanna go and click on that button that I've circled for you. What that's gonna do is that's gonna copy your own personal referral link so that you can share it with other people. Hopefully this was helpful. This was a quick start guide of number one, purchasing your BNB, setting up your SafePal wallet, as well as enrolling into the Definity FI community. We look forward to seeing you at the next event and welcome to Definity FI.